What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the show. So today, today I want to talk a little bit about living abroad. Okay, and I've been talking about this. I've done a series of videos. I've shown you guys different clips. Uh, I want to read a comment that someone wrote me and I get these comments every time I post a video where I talk about this. I get someone or not even one. I get at least 10 different people that will send me a message or they will post in the comments just letting me know that they've, they're living in another country and they're striving and they're doing well. And so I wanna read this comment and then we're gonna talk a little bit about this because as, I, as I've always stated, this is just another option. This is not for everyone. There are gonna be a lot of people that are, are not going to be able to benefit from this. But if you could think outside the box and, and start thinking of different ways to, to live a better life, this is one way that, that, that people are, are, are doing it. So we're gonna read this comment and then we're gonna talk about it. But first off on this channel, we talk about money and the financial struggles that Americans are facing today. If that sounds like something interesting to you, please subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell notification. That way you get notified anytime we put out a video. And like always, if you see my name and a picture of me in the comment section, make sure you see a check mark next to my name. That check mark signifies that it's me. If you do not see that check mark, it's not me. It's someone trying to impersonate me. Okay, so. This uh, message came from Kevin. So Kevin, thank you for uh, sending this message. Uh, he actually posted this as a comment. He says, I've been living in the Philippines for three years now. I retired at 62 and don't get the maximum benefit and still live very good. I married a Filipina and I'm currently building a house on my wife's property. It's nice here because probably 50% of the people speak English. And I think in this area, he says he's, he lives in Cebu, I think in that area there there's a, a huge expat population. Uh, so in, in the comments let me know if I'm correct about that, but I, I've heard a lot of different uh, people from the U.S. that have said that they live in this area, Cebu, I think I'm saying it right, Cebu. Uh, and it doesn't get as much rain as other places. Exchange rate is currently 55 pesos to the dollar. Would recommend it to anyone. So. Kevin has made this decision. He is, he's living in the Philippines. Like he said, he, he met his wife uh, in the Philippines. Uh, he's married and he's living a good life on social security and he collected it early. So he collected it at 62. So he's only receiving the, the minimum amount basically. And he's still able to do it. And so this is another person that's just telling us, look, he recommends it. He recommends it to, to people. If you can do this, this is an opportunity for you. And I, I always go back to, I understand people have family, people have other things that are going on in the U.S. and they might want to stay in the U.S. or they just want to stay in the U.S. They don't want to go to another country. Uh, I, one thing about leaving the U.S. and as you guys know, I'm in Colombia now. I'm only here temporarily, so I'll be here for about six months and I'm going to go back to the U.S. for six months and I'm going to go back and forth. But, and that's just, that's what I want to do. That's my strategy. But uh, other people have different strategies. Now, one thing I found about going to another country and living in another country for a period of time, you really start to see that things are, things are the same. Uh, they're, they're not that much different. Uh, that's the one thing. And I remember when I first traveled to Colombia, it was in 2009. I came with a couple of friends and I only spent 10 days here. But the first thing that I recognized is that things are pretty similar to the way they are in the US. And that, that's something that was pretty shocking to me because not knowing anything about Colombia before traveling to Colombia, I was thinking, okay, this is gonna be really, really uh, a culture shock and things are gonna be a lot different than they are in the US. And that just wasn't the case. Uh, if you're in any major city, you're gonna see a lot of the same things that you see in the US. You're gonna see a lot of the same brands restaurants and things like that that you see in the US, which was really, really shocking to me to see like a, a Papa John's pizza, a Pizza Hut, Domino's Pizza, McDonald's, Burger King, KFC, all these places you're gonna see here, Subway you're gonna see in Colombia. Uh, so that was pretty shocking to me as well because I was just thinking, okay, it's gonna be completely different than the US, but in, in, in reality, uh, things are, are, are pretty much the same. So what I encourage people to do, and, I, and, I've, and I've said this before, if you can, if you can afford to, travel a little bit. Uh, get outside of the U.S., just see what's out there. And it, it, you might find that, that, that you can say, you know what, I could do this. I could actually spend six months out of the year here. Or I could spend uh, all my time uh, in a different country. And there are a lot of people who live on the border 
of, of Mexico. Mexico is another good option for people, uh, at least to visit and, and actually see what's going on there. There are some people like in Southern California, you, you, don't, you don't need a plane ticket. Uh, all you need is a passport and, and a way, a means to get to, to the border and you can go to Mexico. And so there, there are opportunities out there and I just like to share this whenever I see it because it, it, it's one of those things where we're, we're, we're kind of in a, I won't say we're in a, a real bad situation, but things are getting worse in the U.S. right now. We, we, I think we can all uh, say that, that things are, are not getting better anytime soon. Uh, so there are going to be other options that are on the table and you might want to take advantage of those, those options. Uh, I was out a couple of days ago and I don't drive out here, but uh, from time to time I do look at the gas prices just because it's interesting to me. And gas prices in Colombia, $2.19 a gallon. Uh, when you look at the US, you can't find any place where you can uh, buy gas for, for $2.19. And, and it's, just, it's just unheard of. And so there are some benefits to looking at other countries and I just wanted to put that out there. And so ultimately I do wanna know what you guys think about this, so let me know down below. And uh, I will do some more videos where I actually showcase people that are living in these other countries and uh, show you how they're living, the type of apartment they're living in, as well as, as how much food costs. And then I'm also going to sprinkle in some of my content uh, from, I have another channel. What I'm doing right now, just so you guys know about my other channel, I haven't posted on there in a couple months. What I'm doing is I'm, I'm recording a lot of videos now, I'm editing those videos, and then I'm going to start releasing them at least, uh, at least three a week. Okay, and then once I start doing that, then I'll just keep keep up with that content. But I have some video that I'll take parts of the videos from my my uh, uh, new channel, and then I'm going to show you guys some of that on this channel as well. So you'll be able to see uh, some some video on this channel as well as on my new channel. When it comes to just life in Colombia and, and how uh, the, the the struggles, because there are struggles. Everything. I mean, you're you're still gonna struggle with things like the language and 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 just different uh, cultural things and and just knowing where you are i mean the one thing when you when you're in a new country uh, or even a new city if you're in the u.s in a new city you have to learn where things are and and how to get things and so those are some of the struggles that i've been going through here but you learn and once you learn it then then you can move forward and, and learn new things so that's all i have for this video please like the video please subscribe for more and i'll talk to you in the next one bye